Hello everyone, this is Moses from Wilderness Cave, and today we're going to begin a new series with Pirate Borg playing solo. Now I do have the new 2nd edition Mythic Game Master Emulator. I'm going to be using that and some of the elements of the old 1st edition system as well. Now, typically in the past series I have done on this channel, I've always rolled on the scene modification on the first episode of a particular series. I did that with this series twice and it rolled on interrupt which was then had to go to the random event focus table and I rolled on move towards a thread twice there is no thread I just started I'm not too sure if it's in the rules of mythic but from now on I'm not gonna roll for scene modification on the first episode of a series now having said that our chaos factor with mythic is still set at five so the first thing that I wrote was Angelica was having a fist fight with another pirate from another pirate ship and won, knocked out the other pirate. While the pirate was laying on the floor unconscious, she looted the body. So basically how this happened was Angelica was having an argument with a random pirate. She was yelling at him saying, hey, you don't talk about my mother like that. You didn't know her. And the drunken pirate with an empty bottle of ale trying to get the last drop out of the bottle swigging it back, turns around and says, oh yeah? Well, you didn't know your mother either. At that moment, Angelica makes a fist and punches him right in the face and knocks him out. And then loots the body. And then slowly leans down to his ear and whispers in his ear, next time you learn to keep your mouth shut. Now there's a cool D100 table for loot the body in the beginning of Pirate Borg. So let's see what Angelica finds on this body of the pirate that's unconscious on the floor from being knocked out. Let's roll a d100. A 41. Recipe for turtle stew. <laughs> if made, everyone who can smell it passes out. At sea, though, the crew awakes with their ship drifting near a mysterious island. And that sounds awesome. Now Angelica can hear her name being called out from underneath her. She heard someone yelling, Angelica, what was that? I heard a loud thud and now there's a bottle of ale falling off into the ocean. Angelica leans over the wooden rail and yells out, Oh, Captain, it's okay. We just had a little scuffle right here. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Now, the captain's name is James. His class is Sorcerer. Unfortunately, when I rolled up on his HP, it rolled a 1, so he only has 1 HP. But his spirit is a plus 5 which is good for a sorcerer. So it's unfortunate that I rolled a 1 on his HP, but it is fortunate or pretty fun that for cheap gear I rolled on pet and monkey. <laughs> so he does have a pet monkey, and that monkey's name is Admiral Tuto. <laughs> the captain then yells out, All right, let's just get out of here before someone comes and takes our money or knocks us out or even worse. Let's just get out of here now. And Angelica follows her captain's orders, jumps over the wooden railing, lands next to the captain, and they both go on their pirate ship. And of course we can't forget about Admiral Tuto, Captain James' pet monkey. He also follows along and jumps onto their pirate ship. Now a little info about Captain James' pirate ship. The name of the ship is the Burning Ghost. Now the vessel type of this pirate ship is a sloop. The perfect pirate ship due to its speed, shallow draft, and maneuverability. So now I'm going to assume they're all going to probably go to sleep. They probably had a long day, and they probably have an even longer day ahead of them. So they're all going to go to their bunks and go to sleep. Now it's morning, and they could hear a lot of rustling on the deck. They go up to the deck, and they see Mary. Now Mary is the twin sister of Angelica. But Mary is a buccaneer while Angelica is a rapscallion. And she is also a crew member of Captain James's pirate ship. Now I'm curious to find out if Mary found the recipe for turtle stew in her sister's pocket. And if she did, I'm going to assume that she began cooking turtle stew for everyone in the morning. Now let's remember that there's an ill effect of cooking this turtle stew if anyone smells it, that is. Now let's go through Mythic and ask the Fate Chart that question. Did Mary find the recipe and also if she did, she started cooking the turtle stew, which has ill effects. Now the Chaos Factor is 5. I'm going to put this at 50-50. So if 50 or below, Mary found the recipe and began cooking turtle stew. So let's roll a D100. 
And what do you know? Another one! <laughs> I can't believe it! This is crazy! It seems like every time I start a series, I roll a 1 or a 100. Many people that have been watching me for a while are laughing right now. Because it seems like I do this a lot. Or I do this a lot. It doesn't just seem... I just do it. It just... I don't know why it rolls on these numbers. So if you're trying to learn Mythic, for example, right now, a 50 or below is a yes. If you get to 10 or below, it's an extreme yes or an exceptional yes. My house rule, though, is... If I roll a 1 or 100, that's not just an extreme yes or an extreme no. It's a critical extreme yes and a critical extreme no. So let me play this out. So Captain James, Angelica, Admiral Tuto, the pet monkey, all go up on the deck and look at Mary cooking over a stew, almost ready to finish the recipe. They all sit down. They're all relaxing. Captain James is, you know, putting on his boots. Angelica is polishing her knives, etc. Admiral Tuto is counting <laughs> his two toes, etc. Whatever, things like this. Getting up in the morning, getting ready for their day. Mary looks at her captain and her sister and Admiral Tuto and says good morning. And Then Mary drops in the last ingredient into the pot of stew. And immediately the scent engulfed all of them. And they all pass out. Now, a yes would have been simple as that. They all passed out, but an extreme yes would have been they all passed out and the rope that they wrapped around the dock to secure their ship to the port got loose and they started drifting out into sea. But a critical extreme yes would be they all passed out, the rope that they tethered to the dock got loose as well, and the pirate ship named the Burning Ghost drifted out into sea so far that Mary, the Buccaneer, which are skill trackers and survivalists, mapping, navigation, treasure hunting, etc., is going to have a higher difficulty rating trying to figure out where they are when she wakes up. And now a long time has passed, and they are far from where they were before they passed out in the morning. It is nightfall. And unfortunately for the team, the wind has died down significantly in this area. There's almost no gust of wind present. And they all start waking up slowly. Captain James grabs his head and goes, Oh, my head, it's pounding. What happened? Angelica is also doing the same thing. Mary is doing the same thing, looking around as much as she can, but everything is spinning. Admiral Two Toes is dazed and confused and starts screaming everywhere, running around the deck, hopping up and down, trying to climb up the ropes. It falls again. And Captain James just screams out, Stop! Stop! God, you're giving me more of a headache. And he looks over at Mary and says, Mary, can you tell us where we are? Mary tries to slowly get up on her feet and says, Aye, aye, Captain. And then right after she says that, she throws up. <laughs> right next to Admiral Tuto, and the monkey starts going crazier and crazier after that happens. And then Captain James is trying to calm down his monkey, and all, all heck is breaking loose on deck on the burning ghost. So luckily I rolled very high on the character creation for Mary for Presence. She has a plus 5 to Presence, so a d20 plus 5. But since this was a critical extreme yes, and I said it was going to be very difficult for Mary to figure out where they are, I'm going to set the difficulty rating at 16. 18 is the highest you could set it at. So a difficult rating of 16 is really hard, and 18 will be nigh impossible. So Mary slowly looks around and sees a lot of open ocean, but right next to them is this dark island. She's never seen this island before. She then slowly looks up at the night sky to hopefully see stars so she can get an idea of her location. But there are too many clouds in the way. So we're going to roll on presence, which she has a plus five with, which is smarts, perceive, charm, shoot, repair. So we're going to do it with perceive and smarts for this test. Now with a plus five, she has to get an 11 or more to succeed. A DR of 16. A one. Oh, this isn't good. 
Now in Pirate Borg, in combat, a critical is a natural 20, a fumble is a natural 1. I don't know if that applies for tests, so if I try to use my strength for something and I roll a 20, is that a critical success? I'm not too sure, but I'm going to play it as such right now and from here on out. So that was a critical failure or a fumble of a roll of a 1, but there's something cool with Pirate Board. Characters get Devil's Luck. It's sort of like Benny's in Savage Worlds, if you've ever played Savage Worlds before. Now, Mary has one point of Devil's Luck. I'll put up on the screen right now so you can see what you could use Devil's Luck for. But right now, Mary is going to use her one point of Devil's Luck to re-roll that last die. Even if she fails again, I do not want a fumble. So let's try again. Hopefully, it's at least more than one. A 6. 6 plus a 5 is 11. We needed a difficulty rating of a 16, so she failed. But at least it's not a fumble. So Mary looks around and tries to look for stars, but there's too many thick, dark clouds in the sky. She cannot see anything. There's barely any stars in the sky to begin with, let alone try to figure out where your location is. So she looks back down at Captain James, and he's still trying to chase after Admiral Tutos and trying to calm him down and tells ca the captain, Captain, I don't know where we are, and there's too many clouds in the sky. I can't see any stars. And also, I don't feel any wind, Captain. And all of them, Captain James, Mary, and Angelica, are worried. They don't know where they are, and they're dazed and confused, and they have a crazy monkey on the loose on deck. <laughs> But what are they going to do next? I am not too sure, but hopefully we'll find that out on the next episode here on Wilona's Cave with Pirate Borg solo role-playing. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, but let's get right to it. Let's get to the bookkeeping with Mythic. As for the chaos factor of 5, that is definitely going up to 6. It is getting more chaotic. They are not in control of the situation. Are there any new characters to add to the list? No, they didn't meet any NPCs or anything. Are there any new threads? Simply put, where are they? They have no idea where they are, but maybe if they go onto the island, they can find clues to find out where they are. And that will end the bookkeeping with Mythic. Happy gaming, everybody. Bye.